In 1963, a Turkish citizen was renovating his house and found it strange that his chickens were going into his basement and disappearing. When he knocked down a wall in that room, he saw that it opened into a mysterious room that extended further. He took a flashlight and continued to explore, unaware that he had discovered the largest underground city in the world. The underground city of Derinquiu, Deep Well, is located in the ancient historical region of Cappadocia. Its inhabitants lived for centuries below the ground in a labyrinth of tunnels and rooms carved into the rock inside the mountain. The city is comprised of 20 levels or floors, with only 8 of them currently open to the public. Within these levels, one can find cisterns for storing olive oil, food storage areas, communal kitchens with a smoke dispersal system to avoid detection on the surface, places of worship, bars, water wells, stables, and even 52 ventilation shafts forming an incredible system to allow air to enter and circulate through all levels, including the lowermost ones. The ambient temperature consistently hovers around 13 degrees Celsius, regardless of the surface temperature. This has led to a theory suggesting that its origin dates back to ancient times, possibly during an ice age, to serve as a refuge. Despite Cappadocia being characterized by very cold winters and extremely hot summers, the origin is controversial. Some archaeologists suggest that local Christians built the city in the early centuries after Christ to protect themselves from religious persecution, as Rome was against idolaters. The more radical claim it may have originated around 9000 BCE. This is despite carbon-14 dating conducted on skeletons from the Paleo-Christian cemetery in this city, dating back to 1800 BCE. It is estimated that the city began to be completely abandoned around 700 CE. Excavated in volcanic rock, its architecture is rudimentary, although ingenious systems were used to block the entry of intruders, such as wheel-shaped doors carved from a harder rock that could not be opened from the outside. Hence, it is also assumed that these cities were likely constructed as defensive fortifications. Over 600 exits to the surface have been discovered, and it is estimated that this city could comfortably accommodate 20,000 people, with a capacity for up to 100,000 inhabitants. Additionally, it features a tunnel approximately 8 kilometers in length that connects it to another underground city, Kimakli. Today, ventilation chimneys can be seen on the surface of the city and are protected by a metal cover. Currently, 36 underground cities in Turkey are catalogued, and there are still many mysteries surrounding these places. It is not known for certain when they began to be constructed and whether they served as shelters to protect against some danger, such as Christians fleeing Roman persecution, or if they emerged solely for protection against the cold of a potential ice age. Due to their structure, they could serve as shelter for long periods, so it's possible that some families spent their entire lives living underground without seeing the sunlight. What do you think they were used for? Could you imagine living without seeing the sunlight in today's world? These and other cases are showcased here on the Mystery Machine channel. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe.